If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about giving a class it up and a bunch of tips around probably my favorite SMG at the moment, the PPSH. Of course, this gun is super hyped and stuff because of its experience in previous Call of Duty games, being a DLC in Black Ops 3 and all that stuff hope you guys will enjoy today's video i appreciate all the likes and support we've been getting and this is a pretty you know high score i guess high kill game play you could say so if you guys could drop a like on saying 2000 likes would be amazing also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new i appreciate all of the new subscribers we are getting uh, i just i appreciate everything i'm having a lot of fun on this game so Let's talk about it. Now, PPSH is my most kills gun. This is the gun that I have the most kills with. Even though the SMGs in this game are sort of underrated, and I'll talk more about that later because this is probably going to be a longer video, but this gun is absolutely the hype around it was there, and it really delivered, to be honest. It is a very, very strong gun. And, of course, the SMGs at the point right now are sort of underpowered compared to assault rifles, but I still find them to be the most fun to use and to still be fairly dominant. And that's why you see me going to like the PPSH and I almost have my 100 headshots done with this thing already because of how much I spam this gun and use this gun. Now, what this gun is good for is it all depends on your setup. This gun has pretty low recoil. You can pick people off at a long range. It works very well either with the suppressor, without the suppressor. There's a ton of different classes and stuff that synchronizes fairly well with this PPSH and today I'm going to be talking about the one that I find to be the very best and the reasoning behind that. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Let's talk about it. So PPSH for this class setup, I'm going to start with the division. The division, of course, you have five different choices and there's a multitude of reasons why you would want to pick different ones. However, airborne just on a gun that works well with the silencer and specifically for SMGs, because only SMGs can work with a silencer. Um, I think that the airborne just works so well, allowing you to sprint, fa allowing you to sprint more, basically climb obstacles faster. It sort of gives you a mini version of marathon and lightweight, um, you know, from previous Call of Duty games. And it's very good, especially on maps like the map on Gibraltar here. The thing about this map, and one thing about this game is, while the the maps are decently sized, you spawn way far back, and they try to spawn you at the, the you know, the spawns won't flip too often, but they'll spawn you at the very very back and then you have to walk about you know five to ten seconds to the middle of the map just to die again and again can be kind of frustrating that's why you want to have the best class and that's why airborne helps eliminate a bit of that time and definitely the best thing about airborne is being able to slap on that silencer basically giving you guys another free attachment on guns that work well with the silencer now i think the ppsh does work very well without the silencer it definitely melts people a lot better at um closer you know at longer ranges i guess you could say because the silencer sort of takes away from the range but i think that with the silencer just the stealth option most of the people playing the game right now are at least decent players and having that stealth option and them not being able to see you on the minimap i've seen so many times where you know you just get a kill and then another guy just walks right by you because he pays no attention to you having the silencer and um that's why i gotta say the silencer is good for this as far as my other attachments what i'm gonna run here well first of all i'll talk about the basic training the basic training i use on this one is called prime now this prime basic training is very very good for smgs there's a lot of other basic trainings that are good for SMGs, but the reason behind this one is because it gives you two uses. And it's kind of annoying only being able to run one basic training. Essentially, you get one choice of perk, and then, of course, the division will give you four perks. But this basic training prime sort of gives you two uses. One use is it gives you an extra attachment. So it gives you an, another attachment onto your gun, uh, starting with I already have two off the default. Then I have the silencer because I'm running the airborne. And then I get another extra attachment. So that's very, very helpful. And the other main thing is that it reduces is your flinch when shot which is very very good and i highly recommend having this thing it, it works so well the flinch in this game is not so much where you have to run prime on every class setup but i think on smgs is where flinch comes into question or into play more often and it definitely is helpful to have that primed because it does help you out with that another good thing about having the silencer and about not running rapid fire is that the muzzle flash is sort of lower on this gun and uh, muzzle flash is something that when you're shooting a guy and you know it's kind of hard to keep your aim on them because the bullets are flying everywhere and with the silencer it sort of tones that down as well as with this prime but as far as the other attachments i'm running because i basically get three attachments now other than the silencer my first attachment is going to be grip 
pretty self-explanatory pretty much on every single smg you just want lower recoil when aiming down the sights that's all grip does and it's pretty self-explanatory while you want it because this gun has a little bit of, of a little bit of a bounce to it that's why you want to have grip next thing i want to have here is i'm going to have the quick draw now with quick draw it is kind of underpowered in this game for the fact that as you're sprinting as you come out of a sprint quick draw doesn't really help you aim down sights faster at all or not very much at all if, if it does and what it does good though is that at first I decided, you know, I'm not gonna use quick draw at all. But then after experimenting with a little bit more, quick draw is the right attachment for this class setup because you're not always in a sprint. Sometimes you're crouch walking around a corner or you run out of sprint and then you, you, you're moving, you know, slower around a corner. There's a lot of different situations, especially when strafing side to side, that is when quick draw can really kick in. And I definitely think that quick draw is very, very helpful as long as you're not caught in a sprint and you have to focus on trying to not get caught in a sprint and that's where quick draw can be helpful. But if you do get caught in a sprint and that's what makes this class setup so dominant, probably one of the best SMG class setups, is that if you do get caught in a sprint, my other attachment is steady aim. Now steady aim is like some of these perks are these attachments are sort of underpowered in this game like quick draw steady aim is very very strong the, the it tightens your hip fire spread and is very very helpful seeing as grip only helps your uh, recoil when you're aimed down sights basically having that steady aim will allow you to usually when you run to a gunfight you'll start shooting immediately and you'll, you'll hit a few hip fire bolts and into your aim down sights and this class up sort of gives me the best of both worlds it gives me speed a weapon that can kill people at a close to medium range silencer for stealth quick draw for getting those quick aim down sight skills and steady aim if all else fails and that's what makes this class it up so unbelievably good and why i love using this class it up with the ppsh as far as my um uh, secondary i just run with the uh, machine pistol i feel like that works the best if you do have extended mags for that it is the best attachment if not just throw on whatever and i usually just run a normal frag grenade not much customization av available there but that is why i love this class up now how would you want to play with this class up and why don't i have some of the attachments that i think are really good in this game extended mags and grip well the reason why i don't have extended mags is because well there's no reason to have extended mags because it is nice but you already have 35 bullets and the, this weapon 35 bullets is enough to get three to four kills fairly easily and you look at the reload time it's not very slow at all it's pretty fast actually so extended mags is definitely not needed it's cool to have but it's not needed 100 percent and uh that's why i choose steady aim and uh, quick draw and grip over that as far as not having rapid fire i think rapid fire works very good on guns with slower firing rates example the uh, grease gun i do still think the rapid fire is good on the ppsh but it causes you to have a lot more muzzle flash which was sort of getting me killed because I, bullets were flying everyone i was trying to stay locked on on my target and it was sort of messing me up and that's why i chose with this class setup to be the best for the ppsh now as far as the smgs this is what i want to talk about for the rest of this video is smgs are underpowered in this game right now for the simple fact that Assault rifles sort of dominate and the fact that the uh, fire rate on the assault rifles is so damn fast and that you can put rapid fire on these assault rifles which are very low recoil. The assault rifles recoil is basically just an upwards pattern which you can just run grip or pull down on the controller uh, and be able to counter that. And having such fast fire rate, you, they can melt the SMGs. And I think these SMGs are going to be buffed. As of right now, I do think the PPSH is probably the best SMG for me personally. I think this thing, having those extra five bullets comes in very helpful. You don't have to run extended mags. And just overall, like I said with this class setup, it works so well overall. And that's what makes this gun absolutely dominant. As far as other SMGs, I think most of the SMGs are good in this game and the balance around the subs in this game is fairly, fairly good. But the fact is that they need to fix that balancing between the SMGs and the assault rifles. But even with me saying that assault rifles are overpowered, I have had my highest KD and stuff like that with assault rifles. But with SMGs, I'm having, I'm getting most of my kills with them. I'm loving the airborne, how it synergizes and how you get the free suppressor. And I think they're honestly the most fun to use. And I mean, in this gameplay here, we do end up losing in domination and I'm going to take the blame for that. I wasn't really playing the objective I was kind of focusing on getting my most kills because this is my most kill so far. This is 71 kills here with this PPSH. So even though the SMGs are underpowered, I definitely think in public mat that's more of a competitive side thing. In public matches, the PPSH is an absolute monster and so are a lot of the submachine guns. And with this class setup, you can get a bunch of kills. And the thing is that I dropped 71 to 14 in this game. And if you watch my kill streaks, the kill streaks that I'm rocking with are the UAV, 
as well as the uh, glide bomb or what am I rocking in this game? I think yeah, the glide bomb and the fighter pilot. So those probably get me a couple kills. But in reality, if this game had domination up to a, or that gave 100 points per kill, which I think 100% they really, really need to fix that. And if they don't, I'm going to be kind of pissed. I made a video earlier today talking about all the updates I would love to see into COD World War II. I 100% recommend you guys all check out that video because that's sort of one where I give my opinions and I want you guys to leave yours in the comment section down below. But I can just imagine how fun this game would be and I'm really enjoying this game so far. With a buff to these SMGs, even though the PPSH is so dominant, if they just buffed all the SMGs, for example maybe made the hip fire a little bit stronger made them aim down sights a little bit faster i think that would that's what they did sort of in black ops 3 is that to the smgs were too overpowered they sort of nerfed the aim down sights time if they buffed the aim down sight time in this game then it would just be absolutely awesome running subs and if it was 100 points per kill in dom and the streaks were sort of fixed i can just imagine being able to play this and i got what 71 kills here probably over 60 of them were gun kills right or gun and grenade kills and stuff like that so if i'm able to run the big streaks paratroopers if i'm able to run the ball turret the carpet bomb stuff like that i mean i could just imagine getting 100 pluses on this game i would not be easy i would say but it would definitely be feasible and would remind me of a game like black ops 2 where black ops 2 a good gameplay is 100 plus kills and that's sort of a good standard i think for a good call of duty game this game 100 reminds me of Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 sort of vibes, especially with how the game plays and how, definitely Black Ops 2 because it feels like the gunfights, it's never an easy gunfight. It feels like every gunfight is a struggle, which is sort of how I felt at the start of Black Ops 2. And jump shots and drop shots are so damn important. And I think that this game could honestly, at this point, is a very strong Call of Duty game. But of course, it's only the first week. And if we think back to previous CODs and how they've come out in the first weeks, they've always had some different problems. If this game gets the proper support, and this is what I'm concerned about right now, is we've seen with Black Ops 3, Treyarch, probably the best supported game ever. I mean, I, I think it's undeniably the best supported game ever. Countless patches, updates, DLC weapons, uh, events, days of summer, uh, DLC limited cameras, a bunch of stuff like that. Some of it which is BS, just trying to make money off supply drops, and some of it which is honest nerfing and balancing the game. I think that Infinite, uh, Infinite Warfare and Infinity Ward also did a very good job with that. And in AW, I'm trying to think back. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below, and I'm kind of going on long here, but this is stuff that I really want to get off my chest and just talk about because I'm when I'm really into a game and when I'm really playing a game a lot, it, these videos just come so easily to me because I want to sit here and talk about the game. And that's why, you know, I, I was waiting for this game and I was excited and it definitely has paid off so far. Um, but what was I saying? I'm getting lost. Yeah, in AW, I'm not sure. I know they had the, the, the bow was overpowered at the start of the game, which is very reminiscent of the bar being over. It's basically the same thing, except the bow is BAL, the bar is BAR. And we're back on another, we're boots on the ground now, but still with Sledgehammer Games. I don't think they had the most, they had an insane DLC weapon here, of course, which is all going to be pretty cool. But I hope that if they pay attention and keep changing the meta, which the what the meta means is basically based on patches, buffs, and updates, certain weapons will be the best weapons at the time. For example, the meta right now is the bar is the best gun and probably the PPSH is the best SMG. But with the, if the meta keeps shifting and they keep updating this game, honestly, and I've seen people say this too, like I think I think Big Fult said this and some other people said this, this could be one of the best COD games ever, which is kind of a surprise because when I first got on this game, I was like, this game is kind of weak. Um, but once you get into it and once you get used to it, it really is a game where skill prevails in the gunfights, I guess you could say. And if this hidden nuke turns out to be true and they fix these kill streaks, I want it to be a game where the best player wins. And that's what I think Call of Duty should be. I think Call of Duty in the past have pandered too much to the noob, sort of, saying, you know, we want everyone to have a 1KD and everyone to have fun. When I started in Call of Duty, it was Modern Warfare 2. I got my ass kicked. And I had a blast every single game. I remember I would try to get 10 kills sniping on like, like I would pull up my sniper in TDM. I would say, okay, let's go for 10 kills here. And then I went for 15 kills and eventually I was dropping nukes. So I think that the Call of Duty games nowadays, they need to be more centered around not trying to make everyone have a good time with a 1KD, but sort of playing Call of Duty how it is. And you know, the, the better you are, um, if you practice more and stuff like that, you will be better at the game. And I'm hoping that Sledgehammer Games can get this right. There's a triple kill with the absolute glide bomb. I was going off on this game as well, which is London Docks, Gibraltar. Some the best map. Someone left a comment on my last video saying the top five maps: London Docks, Gibraltar, 
Um, he said some other thing. I can't. I can't really remember it off the top of my head. He said Flak Tower, Landon Docks, Gibraltar, Arding's Forest, and there was one more. He said, "Is that is that five? I don't know." But th those are basically sort of the best maps in this game. Um, and uh, this game does have some decent maps, even though it does have some bad maps as well. I'm probably forgetting some right there, but this is just off the top of my head. You guys, let me know what maps you guys are rocking with as well. And hopefully, you guys did enjoy this PPSH best class. I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a sub to run right now in SMG, this is the one. Use this class, use this SMG, you will have fun. I'm telling you right now, you will have fun as long as you're using it on these maps. Use it on London Docks, use it on these small maps, you'll have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Sub for Cookie and Note Looky, and I'm out. Peace. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I think this definitely deserves a like. This is kind of a long one. If you guys did make it to the end, you if you made it to the end, leave a comment saying 12 in the comment section down below. Say 12 in the comment section down below. If you comment that, I'll know you made it to the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Sub for Cookie and Note Looky, and I'm out. Peace.